Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to review for you guys and today I'm going to be reviewing Letterface the text change on Massacre 3 so let's go and dive in so here we go. Now if you guys don't know that this film is the most forgettable sequel in the franchise since basically the way how the film uh, underperformed and also due to the whole production problems that the film gone through and well basically like uh, what's called if you guys don't know that the film was actually produced by New Line Cinema who actually uh, produced the Nightmare on Elm Street films all of which are the end of the 80s and then well uh, they you know actually was called uh, picking up the rights to Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre and then well literally their original plan so was that if this film did actually made a lot of the uh, made a lot of money at the box office then they would actually uh, what's called end up watching a franchise and well those plans end up failing but I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about that towards the end of the video but alongside what's going on dive in so here we go Alright, so the film starts off with, I guess, the opening to the New Line Cinema logo, which you guys see in the Nightmare on Elm Street films and also the Friday 13th films at that time. But alongside, we also actually get an opening crawl. Well, I'm going to let you guys, uh, what's called, um, hear the opening crawl. Now, just to let you guys know that the opening of the film actually was called Changes a, a Bit and was called from the previous film. So, basically, this film actually was called uh, Ignore Stevens of Part 2. And then, well, literally, this film is just a direct sequel to uh, the first movie. And, well, basically, uh, it does actually mention that... Um, that one, uh, they actually, uh, the opening crowd mentions say that the, one of the family members died, which was W. E. Sawyer. And, well, basically, uh, that which refers to probably Drain Sawyer, but... Literally, I'm like, you guys know what I'm talking about, so yeah, but anyway, moving on. And the film actually introduces us to our first victim, and well, and ends up giving us an opening crawl. Yeah, to be honest, like, this, like, to be honest, the title card actually looks kind of pretty cool than the one from Part 2 and also Next Generation, but um, anyway, moving on. And after that, um, Benny and Michelle end up leaving, and well, just to let you guys know, Letterface survived, so, yeah. And there you have it, guys, so that was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. To be honest, like, this movie was not that bad, I mean, I goody, uh, I did enjoy watching this movie, and if you guys have not seen it, I highly recommend you guys to go and watch it. And also, for my ranking, I give it a 9 out of 10, so, yeah, but, anyway, moving and also, I forgot to discuss with you guys about the cancel plans for launching a franchise. Well, not only this film was supposed to gain a lot of money at the box office, but this film was meant to go ahead and launch a, a franchise. So, which means that we, we were supposed to get more sequels, but that plans were um, canceled. And just to let you guys know that director Jeff Burr actually did mention in a behind-the-scenes documentary say that this film was supposed to... Uh, not only was it called a uh, bring uh, the roots back from the original, but this film was also supposed to kick off to uh, more films. So I guess that uh, this film, uh, so I guess that uh, those plans actually were canceled. And well, I, well, you guys already know why because this film underperformed. And well, I guess those, uh, I guess we never got to see more sequels from New Line. So yeah, but anyway, moving. Well, there you have it, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, and I'll see you guys later.